Hi guys, Chris here from the Toman YouTube channel. This time we're talking acoustic guitars. We have our top five top sellers, um, acoustic guitars that came out in 2017. So uh, these are the new guys and uh, let's check them out. I'll grab myself my buddy, Andy from yeah. the guitar department. H hi, I'm Andy from the guitar department and I'm the one with the small guitar. <laughs> the big guy with the small guitar. Yeah, And um, for that. No comment from me. Yeah. What's interesting is the size of that, that Yamaha. guitar. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I have here is a Yamaha APX T2, and it's actually I I grabbing this guitar in two minutes and I pretty much fell in love with it because it's a it's I, it's, I think it's the idea behind it's a traveling guitar. Yeah, you like traveling. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah, it makes sense to me on the <laughs> I so yeah. Why I can take this one with me. I can I can rent a trailer, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> or like a Sherpa. <laughs> if you play like this, so I like I like the fast attack. So it's a very thin, small body, and it's not that much coming out. Yeah, but I like uh, it's pretty fast. Yeah, and it's got a, like a like a small and squeaky tone, which you like for for stuff like. Percussive, yeah, sure. style. Good enough to um, to impress girls at the beach, <laughs> in, your, in, your, in your travel or whatever. <laughs> cool. And it's really not much bigger than like a baritone ukulele. Yeah, it's it really is. so yeah. super small. And you get a bag. I mean, you know, that's nice. In many cases, you have a small guitar, you really struggle with finding a, a gig bag. Yeah. And you know, you should not underestimate this because if you buy something you can this size, in your you backpack wanna, or something. Maybe yeah. you can, you know, squeeze it in your backpack, but you know, it's 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 important, you know, if you buy a guitar for traveling purposes and mm -hmm. you just, you know, wanna throw it in the overhead uh, compartment or something, yeah. that's nice that's to have a bag. Cool. So cool. and it's cheap. So now I pretty much like like the sound he's doing on on single notes, so it's gonna be a gonna be a nice, funny um, sound for for recordings as well. Oh yeah, it's I mean with this uh, gyps gypsy jazz stuff you played, it's yeah, pretty much so authentic. It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it funny sounds enough. like in the old days. <laughs> <laughs> it? it fits. I mean, if you play stuff like that, you know, mm. on a jumbo, which this one is, yeah, uh, it just doesn't work. It sounds way too huge. Let's hear. Put a diminished thing in it and it sounds. And it just uh, it doesn't work because it's just too wide and way too loud and yeah. too too I guess clear. Too, too much frequencies. So yeah, yeah. You need those mid-range uh, thingies. You need uh, like a small guitar for those styles or a yeah. single note. That's also the reason why parlor guitars and double O, triple O. Guitars are so beloved, you know, my uh, finger, finger picker. And this one is the Gretsch Ranger Falcon. It's a jumbo, so it's as big as me. Yeah, it looks like almost. a strumming monster. Yeah. It is, it is. And it has a Fishman, um, I guess it's an Isis pickup, which many guitars have. It's a, a, a well-known pickup, which is very affordable, but it sounds ridiculously good for the price. And um, Gretsch also made a deal with uh, Fishman, just as many other brands, mm -hmm. Harley Benton, whatever, Fender, so many other brands. These are awesome pickups. Um, let's hear it. Hmm. Yeah, so sounds like the big, big mama. A big mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. I mean, still you have your your warm. You know, if you play single notes. 
I mean, some melody notes, let's mm -hmm. put it this way, so it's not a single note line. So you hear the top end, it's not like, mm -hmm. you know, it's all lost in this compressed huge sound. It's it's still pretty articulate, but you don't have much mid-range. Mid yeah, but you have a rich, and I know I think I sound. like it, yeah. it's, a, it's a harmonic tone and it's a rich frequencies, yeah. less mids, but makes place for other stuff, so yeah, yeah. singing voice and... And of course, you should never forget before you fall in love with the sound of a jumbo guitar, that your right arm well, you know, you, you will see it. It won't be in, in this region for a long time because it's a huge body. So if you're a smaller uh, guitar player, you know, maybe try different sizes. It's always a cool stuff. But the sound of a jumbo is like, it's jumbo, you know. Jumbo, jumbo. And what I love about this guitar, even more than the sound or the bling bling looks or anything, is the neck. The first thing what I told Andy um, a few minutes ago was that I, I just I love all Gretsch necks for some reason. I don't know. It's a. Yeah, I think it's not a D. It's not a C. It's not thin. It's not thick. It's just. I think it feels right. I think the electric guitar was before, and I, I think that's lazy people. Yeah. And sending guitar necks. I the love it. Acoustic <laughs> Yeah. That's they probably yeah. just you know cloned the neck profile yeah. and just yeah yeah, yeah. let's like, let's use like it. that's a, like a f late fifties, um, neck shape. And okay. It's, it's so beautiful. I know, I know this from electric guitars from Gretsch. And All the semi hollows, yeah. yeah. It's, I love it. It's could, so comfy. Could be the same. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think, you know, you feel and probably. It plays great, right? It, absolutely, absolutely. Alrighty, next one. So, what I have here is uh, a Fender CP60 S. Which right? is again a smaller guitar yeah, than this so I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he so just want to look bigger. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. The small guitars. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, same situation. Smaller body. Um, you have more. You, may, you, can, you can hear it. You have less basses, less trebles. You have more rich and harmonic mid-range tone, um, which is fast for picking. Well, what I like. Play the diminished chords. You can hear on every guitar. You can hear every single note. Who's ah, pretty yeah. much got a strange intervals. Yeah. Intervals. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you, but that tells me a lot, of, a lot about the sound of the guitar and how it reacts. And what I like on this parlor guitar is I pretty much like it. Every note is clear, and you can hear yeah. the diminished um, notes. Um, that's it's yeah. way more balanced than like some as exactly. big as this. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Where so every tone got its own voice, yeah, and it's yeah. set on the and same loudness, yeah, and that's yeah. pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. So what's funny, these two have the same woods. So it's plywood, mahogany, sides and back, and uh, solid spruce, solid spruce top. Yeah. top. And uh, the next are mahogany, only the, um, fretboard the fretboards are different, because this different, is, um, yeah. ebony, always, you know, if we're talking Taylor. And um, it looks like looks like rose, rose probably wood? it is. Maybe it will change, you know, due to Saiti's uh, thingies, this uh, wood protector protection, you know, um, decision which uh, was made beginning this year. So uh, it's a dark wood and it has a yeah. warm. Print. It still it works. Yeah, it's like 90% the same woods, but the body shape is totally different. And the bracing's probably in all these uh, parts, and this makes yeah. this makes the difference. Because, take a listen to this.
So it's super dynamic. It's really, really loud, but um, can also sound almost dull if you don't pick it that hard. So it's, it has a lot to offer, but what it doesn't have is a lot of mid-range, yeah, which this guitar true. has. So if I, if I try to finger pick, which I cannot. Yeah, it's a struggle. All of a sudden, the guitar is so quiet. Yeah. It's, you cannot really compare it with... With loud strumming, it's just like 10% of, uh, of the volume because it's so dynamic. This is exactly what, yeah, what you it's told. A, it's, a, it's a nice shape voicing you have and it uh, gives a lot of space for your singing voice and for oh, yeah. other instruments. And oh, yeah. So that's, that's pretty good. And this one is, yeah, it's not... You have you have more like like in some kind more output because it's mid range and it's more like ah you mean it will be more hearable because it's mid yeah, yeah strong mid range and so and um, yeah so your 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 voice is fighting against the guitar all the country pickers and all the yeah, blues and, players um, and all the big build brunsies out there and, <laughs> um, they yeah it's it's kind of dirty and um, old and cool and yeah. yeah it has more vibe to it. Uh, I'm sure you can play this lick. Yeah. Uh, let's just try it to compare it. I play it in this one, then you take it over. Just just to show the uh, sure, the style, yeah. you know. The Go for it. Voice is like, you know, black and white, totally different. So not fitting to this guitar. Yeah. It's just way too clear and hi-fi sounding and, and modern and everything. And that's like the yeah, sound. So yeah. So we talked about we're both uh, guitar, electric guitar players. Oh, and yeah. So when I grab uh, this guitar, I, I, f I feel like a little bit makes me feeling better because it's 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 a kind of really nice attack. So it's maybe it's not that super rich tone. But I, it's it's fast, and for me it's important. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a fast response. It makes it feel home and yeah. comfortable. Yeah. And it's 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 just yeah, it's easy to what play. I like. So and it's what's interesting also, uh, if you play an acoustic guitar alone, you want a big sound, you want to be impressed. Yeah. But as soon as you play with another guitar player that probably also has a dreadnought or a, a jumbo or something huge that sounds big. You know, you will cover the same frequencies. So it's uh, in many cases, just as you told, as soon as you play with a, a singer, a keyboard player, and another guitar player, or all of these together, with a smaller body guitar, you probably have some frequencies that nobody uses. Yeah. And you have better chances to come through. Of course, you will have to mic it or use a, a pickup as soon as it gets that loud. But uh, those guitars just react so fast and have these mid-range frequencies that really, you know, kicks you right in, yeah. in, in the middle of the mix, which is very nice. Yeah. Okay, we right. have one more. You want to play Next the, one? Uh, the blue one? Oh yeah, I need, yeah. I like the blue one. And guitar number five. Yeah, that's, um, that's a nice blue Harley Benton. Um, yeah, it reminds me <laughs> of uh, something. It's of called a guitar. Yeah, it's yeah, it's called HBO 850. Yeah, it's you know what it's it is? H it's exactly like the uh, the other Harley Benton, <laughs> only that it's blue. Yeah, really. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's that's the one you so you were thinking about. What, what, yeah, whatever HBO means. Hollywood, HBO. Hollywood boat. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy. So it's one of those round bag guitars. This is ABS. Yeah, it feels pretty strange to me because I. Yeah, I never get in touch with round bags so, so much. You're way too young, probably. Yeah, and um, I make two, two less beard cell music, so... Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> so that's where I see it, yeah. Like German drinking festivals. All the beer fests and everything. Yeah. All the guitar players. Like, those are people like it pretty much. You know why? Because music. those <laughs> musicians probably were young in the 80s, where another brand with round bag guitars was like all yeah. over the place was yeah. the acoustic guitar to buy oh, really? yeah. and um, <laughs> I know I was I was um, busy 
you know, wearing diapers at that time, yeah, but you were not even days, born yeah. probably. So, um, you know, but people still buy these guitars and actually it's not my cup of tea, to be honest. But your cup of tea. But I get it. It has a totally modern flair to it. They do have their sound. And um, if, if it's comfortable for you, you know, that's awesome. Yeah. Why not, you know? So when you see this guitar is made, made out of plastic or but what exactly the material is, I know. ABS, like ABS. whatever, yeah, yeah. it's a com composite something, yeah, man-made yeah. something. Yeah, let's say plastic. Like. Um, so I don't expect a nice um, natural sound, but mm -hmm. actually... That's how it sounds. Actually, to be honest, you could totally fool me. I would never, never say like would, I couldn't guess that yeah. it's a, a so round bag plastic. So would you hear that, that material? No, me neither. No. Um, it kind of bugs me because I thought I trained my ears good enough to always be able to tell. Yeah, so the Harley Benton cases, brand is good for. It's way better it's good than for anything surprises else. all the time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, that's why, yeah. Yeah. So, is it comfortable? Or is it weird? Yeah, sure. That's, that's great. But it, does, so it doesn't yeah, cut in your actually, chest, you know. If you, if you um, use this while um, playing and standing, yeah, and singing, with a strap, yeah. maybe, maybe that's a reason why the people buy it. That's a pretty f flat one. So that's yeah, a, like a thin, but yeah. I the, think uh, there are people who call it a shallow bow. Shallow, yeah. Um, but that's the HBO. Yeah, okay, so it's HBO. Uh, um, hello. Um, there we have deeper ones, and I don't like the deeper yeah. stuff because you can, you can't um, play it while sitting, and this is pretty much comfortable. Yeah, uh, I like this. It's like a, a thin line kind of body, only that it's you know the edges are not that terrible. Yeah, so hard. So it's like a mid bowl or sh or more shallow. And neck wise. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice fat neck. These bodies are the same wide and long as yeah. dreadnoughts. Or that's, like 90% the same. That's pretty much a more dreadnought style. Yeah, yeah. I've got only the back shoulders, is different. But yeah. uh, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's play some chords. Sure. To, um, to hear the difference. You want to play something? No, yeah, go for it. Uh, C and C um, is this for? Yeah, of course, it's way more quiet, but it's also yeah. a smaller body and that's not the purpose of the guitar. I think it's pretty much the idea behind is playing live. Absolutely. That's why the, um, the sound holes are, you know, spread yeah. all over the place. But my sound holes look better than... than yeah. Yours. Well, I'm a conservative oh. dude, so I like... <laughs> Let's not go there. Uh, the the, the um, real reason why the sound holes are, you know, uh, just as they are, that there's no feedback issue. It's way less oh. sensitive. Yeah. So um, that's um, that's the reason why you know another brand started with this um, and it, it just stuck because it works. You have way less feedback issues. You don't need a feedback buster, which many people tend to use, especially if you use wedges, you know, monitors in front of you. What's your favorite? Nice. My favorite. So I, yeah, I. I Pretty much like like the the small Yamaha, it's okay. a funny guitar. So yeah, a guitar I don't have, so makes it. Yeah. And I like the Falcon, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. great look. Yeah, yeah, sexy bling bling. So I so I yeah I I did not learn playing nice playing, so I I like nice guitars. <laughs> so. With flair and, and yeah. mojo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who covered me up, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah, it works better for me, yeah. And um, I think I have to go with this one. 
for many reasons. First of all, this is the best invention, if you ask me. Um, what is talking this? Talking with acoustic guitars. It's so comfortable. Try it. I mean, really. really. Okay. And of course the neck, you know, it plays itself and that's like hilarious. You play an acoustic guitar and you feel like playing an electric guitar with thicker strings. It's unbelievable. I make no difference. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. That just fools me. It makes me feel the guitar is really just a little so, more... I, I don't care. I don't know. You see? <laughs> I'm lost in details and he just yeah. couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so it's... I mean, this It looks just... like, like there's been an accident. <laughs> so you have a good luthier who makes it... <laughs> to fix the damage. Yeah, but... <laughs> It's the biggest compliment I have ever yeah. heard. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, take it easy. Enjoy time with your family and chill out and have fun. Yeah. That's him. That's me. Bye bye. Please subscribe. Right. Um, you know, let us know what you think in the comment section, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. All right. Bye.